Greetings fellow gaming fans and survivors, this is Small Archangel with you on day 21 of our return to Navas Gain. As we can see we have a couple of dogs randomly underneath my newly laid killing floor. But they are not obliging and staying still enough for me to shoot them. So I might just have to go down and deal with this in a good old fashioned way with my spike club. Oh my god. In fact, we have a horde. Uh, it's horde day, but this is not the horde we were looking for. They are kind of slightly slower. Maybe this is a spider called horde. I'm not quite sure. But they're a tad early if this is the day 27 horde. And maybe I should be using this opportunity to... Because there's cops there as well. Oh my god, they really are. This really is the day 21 horde. Why are they so early? Okay, so... <laughs> this is kind of earlier than I'd expected them to be. It's only four in the afternoon. I'm glad I started filming at all because... Come on, I can't move for some reason. Get up there. I need to make sure I've got plenty of arrows here. Um, and possibly make some more. Uh, let's see. Get a bunch more of them like that. And also, uh, good lord, what else do I need from up here? Lost my thread. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to try and deal with these as best we can. I have kind of covered up all around here. I had intended on doing some upgrading work today to the base before this lot showed up. As it is, we're just going to have to take them out as much as we can right now, which is kind of disappointing. Come on, Fido. Get out of there. And I don't even know where the rest of them have gone. But one thing I do know for sure is that if they don't know I'm here, they'll just disappear. You see, I can't actually shoot them until they get underneath me. Because uh, those cops, there's one of them in fact, the cops will just spit all over my base and I wanted to upgrade the legs of the base so that there he goes uh, so that I could um, in fact I might go down and deal with this lot that I could do some quality looting as well but you can see how the the, the, the floor of this works pretty well actually ultimately I want to have uh, a, a kind of a a shooting platform around the outside um, of the base as well from which I can also snipe there we go and I meant to uh, yeah fortify the legs with concrete and all the rest of it so that if anybody did decide to spit at me for example I could withstand a little bit of cop fire but at this point as I say I'm a little bit nervous to go down because I haven't actually had the chance to do that which means that I'm a little bit worried about what would happen if uh, one of these guys did have a go. Yeah let's take him out before he explodes because I'm not fancying the damage that he might cause. Well having decided that I was definitely gonna take these guys on inside my own base I think I might have to make the decision to go against that and go outside at least until night falls which will probably happen shockingly quickly missed him at least I've got my base semi-functional oh come on crawler I keep missing him 
It's quite difficult to catch the crawlers actually because most of them doesn't obviously stick out of the water. Now the rest of them are just going to wander off basically and I'm still not absolutely convinced that this lot is the horde. I mean there is a bunch of them around and yeah there we go. There look they've trashed that bit already so I'm a bit wary about being on the wrong the opposite side of my base to those guys because they'll just fire straight at it and yeah away from the base if you don't mind. Damn it. If I can just kite them away. Uh, but I do need to make sure that I can get a shot of them before nightfall, of course, because they'll all know exactly where I am come nightfall. So I'm going to take these cops out because they're the most problematic. We've got a burning zombie over there as well. You see, I haven't even managed to get rid of that glitch block. Whoa! Got him. I'm also kind of hoping that... Ay uh, yo yo. Also kind of hoping that um, due to the water they don't manage to... Ow! Yeah, that hurt. Oh my gosh, and there's one there as well. I'm just... Oh, get out of my way! I'm just hoping that they don't manage to destroy all the floor underneath here. Got him. Okay, we're going to get feral ferals turning up at night time as well. I've just got one more cop at the moment to deal with. He's just blown up. Never mind. There's one of them here as well. Look at that, you see. He's taken out my ability to get into my base by spewing on the flipping pillar and taking out my ladder, which is a little concerning. You're gone, pal, if I could possibly contrive it. Nope, not quite. Okay, any more? Yeah, there's another cop here. Of course, they will just keep coming. But I'll get shot of as many as I can. Mush. Ugh. It's hopeless. And there's a feral, and it's not even dark yet. Mind you, we will have to keep a bit of an eye on the time, because otherwise this lot will be moving a little bit fast for comfort. I mean, I know I like playing out in the dark, but with the feral horde? Yeah, okay, we did that too. You guys are early. Why are you so early? I think we might just, because I didn't have a chance to repair my bow. That was kind of what I went upstairs for, but I lost my thread, because this lot have just sort of caught me unawares. Seriously, not playing cricket, is it? It's not cricket, as I say. Now, we're going to loot you if we don't loot any of the other ones. An SMG barrel, don't mind if I do. It's a creeper. Creeper crawler. One of those. And there's another feral over there. Oh, and a dog. Oh. Gotcha. Well, these guys are so bad when it's daylight. Hey, I should have hit you, not the other way about. I mean, miles from me. There we go. And yeah, oh, I am now level 29. Fantastic. Down, boy. There we go. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, we'll just uh, take a quick shifty. Some water. All right. And then we've got some more cops coming, of course. And it being... Oh, he's done. Good. It being... Uh, oh, gosh. There's one heading straight for me. Right, we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to try and get back in here. Now, can
can I take those please? Thank you. We're going to have to get back in here because it's getting to that time. And I'm going to block up the hole as well. And then we're going to have to just see how how we can manage from inside of here. Really, um, I'm starving to death, which is not great. Let's just... I'll just grab one of these, which obviously, you know, the zombies will flipping well know I'm here. But what could a person do? You can see I've got all this stuff I was going to, you know... I was gonna do some improvements on the base and do all sorts of stuff and no, no chance. Not a chance. Okay, so I'm gonna make some more arrows. Oh, and a load of them. I'll just do this. There we go. And call that good for the time being. And then I need probably to take one of these. And we need to repair my bow, because it's just about knackered. And there we go. Now it's time for them to run. Which means they'll also know where I am, I think. Yep, there we go. But I'm going to keep out of their sight, because as I say, I do not want the cobs spitting all over my base. Now, now we've got a bunch of them. So let's hope, we started a little bit early, let's hope that these guys don't form an enormous gore pile. I might have to keep moving about to make sure that they're not all falling in the same place because you can end up with gore piles forming if they're all in one place because the, the gore pile, they have to kind of sort of, I don't know, they have to have chance to dissolve, basically. So I'll take out a few lesser minions, if you like. There we go. And they just stand obligingly right under your feet. Okay, and I'll just keep moving about. That one's about a total miss, that was. Take out Fatso here. And there's a dog in there somewhere too. I think he just fell over. Yeah, he did. Okay. There you see there's a gore pile there and it's disappeared. But if you have enough gore piles, they don't get a chance to despawn dis de and disappear. Right, let's just take out whoever. I got him before he exploded. This is always good. So the cops are easy to hit because they're massive. Oh, I got him too. And so I think we'll just concentrate on them. Oh, get him quick. I don't want him exploding. Oh, he's gone. Good. And now we've got quite a concentration there. So I'll just move over here. And because they're feral, they will follow me. And they'll just know I'm here. And I'm mostly... Oh my god, look at that spinning dog. Get shot. Get shot fast. And I want to stay away from the pillars a bit. Because if you get too near the pillars, that gives them something to hit. Damn it, man. He actually took quite a lot of my health there. So ideally, if you're building a tower base, it's, better, it's safer, in fact, to build it a bit taller than this. Because the cops... He's gone. Good. The cops actually harm you from quite a long way above. I don't know how many blocks you need to build height, but this is probably a little bit on the short side. Look at this mass of them. You'll get yours, Fido. Just be patient. Yeah, we're going to need quite a lot of arrows here. Okay, perhaps a little bit close to some pillars there. Ultimately, my design will actually have less pillar than this. Uh, or rather, less pillars, plural, than this. Uh, go on, dog. Down you go. And this isn't the most exciting way of dealing with the zombies, uh, the horde, the zombie apocalypse. But, quite honestly, we had quite a bit of excitement in the last one. Oh, I couldn't see that straight. Will you guys stop moving? You know, just like... Stand still and be shot. Your day of judgment is at hand. Oh, undead. 
Oh, come on. Yeah, he's going to take a lot of shots to the head, that dude. He's going to take a lot of killing. Three. Four. Five. Uh, no, no. Five. Practice your aerial headshots. Six. Seven. Eight. Good lord. Nine. That was in his ear. Ten. Oh, flipping heck. This is where you wish you had better arrows. Eleven. Twelve. No, not swiping at anything. Thirteen it took. Good lord. Where's one of the other ones? A well placed arrow will take him down straight away. Or not. Oh my gosh, this is enough to give you point and click. Repetitive strain injury. Well go on, just die. Do me a favour. Okay. Kite them over here a little bit. Don't seem to have any more cops. I know I shouldn't speak too soon here. I really shouldn't. Got that one as well. I'm actually taking them out slowly enough that I don't think gore block buildup is really going to be a problem. If I was using a, you know, a high-powered gun or something, I think we might have a problem, but as it is, probably not. Of course, if I could work out a way of doing this and still getting to loot, that would be really cool. There's another cop. And I'm level 30. Of course, this is a good way of dealing with hordes. I mean, you can sort of hide in a cave and what have you, and I've done plenty of that as well. But if you want the experience, I mean, getting the experience and the loot, that's something else, because even if you are in a situation where you can reach them to loot them from some miracle, are you going to have the time, really? Mostly what you're going to be concerned with during the horde is... Uh, Staying alive and keeping them from trashing your base. At least in this circumstance, I can take my time to really kind of pick them off. And the only ones I have to worry about, really, are the pukers here. And I really don't want him exploding. <laughs> because it really hurt last time. Miss the dog. I've got about five of them here. Ah, and another. Here he goes. Okay, so I'm not sure we're really... And I get rid of the dogs as a bit of a priority as well, because uh, they have a tendency of sort of glitch spinning and sort of revolving like some sort of canine helicopter straight towards your face. I've seen them do it. Okay, we'll just move a little bit, because there's a lot of corpses there. Sneak damage bonus. I should think so as well. I should be getting on all of them, surely. Except that, no, they do know I'm here. But... Obligingly follow me around. Damn it. <laughs> and they don't try and hit any of the walls or the floor because I'm not under the floor, so there's no point digging. They know I'm above their heads, but there's nothing to hit between them and me. They cannot reach the bars. As I say, the only thing really I can do to improve my design is to make it even taller. Um, so that when a cop explodes, he doesn't actually take me with him. 
can speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Two of them. Let's get rid of these dogs first. Okay. Crawler there. Come on, Fido. There's about three of them now. Oh my gosh. Just die. Gotcha. Hey, who's swiping? Is it that dog? They will, of course, swipe at uh, gold blocks as well. Okay, let's get rid of Fatso here. While he's standing completely still. And we'll put down that dog. And then let's hope that we can actually... Uh oh take him out. Oh, thank heaven for that. And you too. Thank heaven. Okay, now I can hear a bunch of wasps, but it is nearly dawn, and actually, I don't see any more down there. I don't see any more out here at all, so I'm going to take a bit of a risk, and I'm going to loot these cops, because uh, they have good loot. And there's Dawn. Animal hides. What's he doing without animal hides? That's quite a weird loop. Now that is what I was asking for. That is what I wanted. No, you can keep your animal fat. And, uh, I accidentally did the dog. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, I accidentally uh, looted the dog, which wasn't what I meant at all. Okay, so we've got some fixing up of stuff to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, slight apologies about the early arrival of the Horde there. When I started filming, I didn't actually realise that they'd arrived at all. Uh, good, that's filled itself in. I was going to spend uh, the time between the Horde arriving and uh, my starting filming uh, on upgrading the base. So I guess we're kind of doing it... <sighs> Arse about face is the way we say it in the UK. Uh, the wrong way around. Uh, but go up the ladder, up the ladder. Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll do some upgrading now. Um, I've not got too much to do. Let's just stick some of this stuff in here. I'll have to have a look at these weapons later and see um, if they're any good and if I can replace any of the parts, etc. Okay, so let's just see if we've got the bits we need. We've got plenty of... Yeah, I might just make up a bunch more arrows because we need to do that. There we go. And... Alright, so I've got some more stuff to make concrete mix out of. Basically, since the last episode, I've been doing a heck of a lot of forging, which is why, I, to start with, I thought it might have been a, a feral horde, a, a heat map horde turning up, because, uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of, whoops, uh, making iron, and a lot of making cement mix, um, let's see, I have any more of these, yes, and then we need gravel, just want to make gerav, Learn to spell. There we are. Perfect. There we go. Alright, so. And we'll need some... No, it's not in there. Some wood, of course. Probably quite a bit of it. We'll get rid of that. And we need my nail gun. Nail gun. And. I thought I heard something. Let's just get my club at the ready, because uh, those flaming things will turn off my torch now. I would quite like the honey from that guy, actually, uh, if it's all the same to him. Okay, so we're going to repair that. But the cop literally just took it out with one spit, that column was gone, which is why these make me feel nervous as they stand. Um, and for that reason, this is where we're going to start with our fortification. We're going to start with rebar. And 
around more zombies. Oh joy. Let's just take a bit of medication, shall we, and keep them well away from my structure because it's going to have all the structural integrity of marshmallow at the moment. And where do you lot come from, huh? What do you call yourselves? You're coming from a different direction. Now, they can't be feral because the ferals only come at night, she says, only they plainly turned up during the day yesterday. Um, but we shouldn't get any more cops, etc. But who knows? Who honestly knows? We might just have to do a bit of... Uh... Yeah, a bit of, 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 of slaying and a bit of, oh, antibiotics, very nice. This might be the tail end of our horde. I don't know, they take a while to get anywhere when, uh, when they're moving slow. Oh, nice. And I am not averse to the experience. Thank you very much, chaps. Not you. No, 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 no. You, oh, for goodness sake, right, die. Okay. Alright, not very helpful. Okay. Alright, is there anybody else there? Is there any but... No, good. Excellent. Excellent. Now. Alright. Clearly need to get shot of that. Random. And on we go. So, you can see the concrete's already drying on that leg, which is fantastic. That is what we want. Okay, so for the time being, we're going to content ourselves with going back up, and I need another section of ladder on there, of course, and going round the outside. Now, this, likewise, needs to be concrete. You can see I've got concrete underneath the, these now. So, this is going to be our priority, is to put concrete around the outside of here as well for the obvious reason that that oopsie that is our outside edge and so any spitters we want to give them you know a more you know, base a more robust sort of outer edge than just wood which as you've seen <laughs> they take out in one single spit unless I put my durability settings up which I never said you know, never tend to do somehow I probably should as I get um, further into the game. Come on. So I think we're going to have, yeah, we've got enough to go all the way around here. And I actually want to replace this bit as well. I'm hoping I can do this without that uh, collapsing. Yes, looks like it good. And we'll see if we can get all the way around here without having to go and get more wood. Did I miss any? No, I did not. Okay, so in an ideal world, I would also have iron bars here. Whoops. Iron bars here for windows so I could shoot through those. And I would probably put iron bars here where I've got the wooden frames as well all the way around there. But that's less of a priority there. Mostly there to stop me from falling down. How to stop spider zombies from coming up. So there we go. Um, and iron bars also. I quite like some iron bars around the outside of there. Now at the moment, uh, what we're going to have to do with the time being, really, for the time being, is put wooden frames around the outside like that for the same reason um, no, that's open, that's why yeah, put wooden frames around the outside as a sort of an anti-spider shelf um, 
I had a couple of spiders show up yesterday when I was doing a lot of, you know, stuff. Um, and that was kind of off camera. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I haven't had too much of a problem with the spider zeds, but they do inevitably show up from time to time. So there you go. So that is more what I meant. Uh, we haven't, let's see how many of these we've got left. I've got a few of these left and I've got a bit of concrete left so I am going to carry on with this just until I run out uh, and I'm going to sort of perhaps finish off uh, one or two of the legs here. Uh, basically just uh, to show you what I mean. The intention and again it's going to use a lot of resources is to make these legs good and strong which makes them sort of three by three like that so that is what each of the legs of the base will look like ultimately and you can see why with a leg that thick we are not going to need not going to be needing these and in fact they get right in the way and as i've said before the less we have to get in a zombie's way the less it's in our way, the better, but I'm not going to beat my own base up because it's in my way. But the zombies are, so there we go. That is one of the legs completed, at least. So the base is starting to take shape, and hopefully next time a horde comes visiting, hopefully next time a horde comes visiting, they won't, I don't know, sabotage me in some way. Um, and, uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be... Thoroughly, completely ready for them. Uh, not that, not that it didn't go according to plan last night. That was the first horde that, apart from their early arrival, uh, went vaguely according to plan. Let's hope the next one goes entirely according to plan. Anyway, guys, this video has been quite long enough. You can blame the Zed's random spawn time for that. I need to pick up some more wood before I can finish this leg off. And I probably need to go visit Working Stiff Tools as well. So the next video will probably be following on fairly closely from this one. So that's another reason not to go on any longer than I already have. So guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Please feel free to leave any comments, any suggestions, <coughs> base building ideas, tips, all the rest of it. Uh, we're good for discussing all of that in the comments there as well and I'll always try and reply to any comments too. That is the wrong box. Wow, that's really got through some resources today. Okay guys, so I do hope you'll join me for the next episode and until then, bye bye for now.